Hi there to my Tupperware friends and fans. Good to see you again. I just want to highlight a few of our items that are on sale and a few of my favorites. Um, this is on sale. This is the table mate set. It's a three piece set, salt and pepper shakers and a butter dish. And actually there's real butter in here. If you have a salt shaker in your house and you have rice in it, then you have a problem. You're worried about the moisture getting in. With the salt and pepper shakers from Tupperware, they seal. So there will never be any rodents, pests, or moisture getting in. This is a great deal for $16 on sale. Normally, this alone is $19. This is $16 right now. Another wonderful deal we have going on right now is the Impressions three-piece bowl set. This is the middle size. And I forgot what it is. Um, it is very easy to open and close. They stack inside of each other. And then when you stack them inside of your cabinet, you can put the seals on the bottom and all the bowls can line up. I only have the one piece with me today. The other two are in my refrigerator. So very easy to close. It is a BOGO. Buy one set of three and get one set free. They're $35 normally for three, so you can get six bowls for $35. It's $17.50 for three bowls. Get one for yourself, one as a gift, put it away for Christmas. Get one for you, one for your daughter, one for you, one for your son, one for you, one for a friend. It is too good to pass up. Now, the other thing that I have talked about a few times this week and demonstrated is the Power Chef system. One of my favorite items as well. Put the paddle in the center and then you can use this for smoothies or dry cake mixes like brownies, pancakes, anything you like. And all you have to do is uh, pour your ingredients in there and spin the spinner. Now, if you're doing dry ingredients but you wanna add a little bit of um, oil, there's a measuring cup here in this funnel. And what you do is you can pour it in it's in a lock position here. When you want to let it go in, it will just it, turn it and it opens it up so it can fall in there. And then you just go ahead and whip it up and there you go. One thing, one of my favorite things to do with this is a chopped salad because I like, when I eat salad, I like to be able to just, you know, have to, you know, take my fork and eat it. I don't want to have to sit there and cut everything up. So I usually throw my spinach, my carrots, my onions, whatever's going in my salad, Put it in here, turn this a few times. Every time you spin this, it goes around 25 times. So you got a lot of chopping going on with one spin. So, and this comes with, as I said, the paddle and also a seal. So if something that you make, you want to keep it for later, you can just take the motor off, take this off, take your blade out, put the seal on, put it in your refrigerator, and that'll last for a little while. So that's that. Those are my sale items. And I just want to show you a few of my favorites. This is the silicone spatula. This is a wonderful, wonderful tool. You can use it in a frying pan. It's heat resistant. You can use it on the sides to get all your batter in. It has a flat edge and a, a rounded edge. So it can go inside bowls. It can go inside a square pan. This is a wonderful, wonderful thing to have in your kitchen. My daughter has one, she loves it, and when somehow she misplaced it, I had to give her another one out of my stock right away. So she was very happy with that. Um, okay, now I'm going to share something with you. This is gonna be a little bit of a surprise to me and you as well. This is the first generation Fridge Smart here. This is the second generation. This is the ones that are available in the catalog now. And this is to keep your produce fresh. Now what you do is, um, the old system, we had the breathing system with the little buttons, you open and close them to regulate how much uh, um, the produce breathes. A lot of produce, well, certain produce needs to breathe. Like if you have broccoli, you would put it in here and you keep the, you slide this to open and close or leave it half and half. So with broccoli, it's a heavy breather. So you leave it all the way open. And there are pictures on this side to tell you which way to, to leave it for what uh, fruit and vegetable. But broccoli is a heavy breather. If you put your broccoli in here, it could last almost a month. 
and stay fresh. I buy mushrooms to put in here. And the nice thing about the reason they stay so fresh is there's wells in the bottom for the moisture to gather. So the moisture stays off of your fruits and vegetables. So a month to the day, we just looked on our Facebook or on my, um, on my messages, a month to the day from today ago, we had tacos at my house. My family came over for tacos and it had this lettuce. Now I have not opened this. It's been in my refrigerator, I haven't used the lettuce. So this is gonna be a mystery to you and to me to see how long the lettuce actually lasts. So let's take a look and see how this lettuce looks. It was a month ago today, March 22nd. That looks pretty good. It's a little brown around the edges, but look at this. Look at how nice. It's brown, but you could cut off the little bit of brown and this is a month. Tell me if you had lettuce in your refrigerator for a month, would it look this good? Probably not. So that's very impressive. And that is the Fridge Smarts. This is the new generation, first generation. This one is no longer available, but you get the same result with the newer ones. The other uh, nice item that I, is one of my favorites in the kitchen as well, is the stack cooker. You can use this to make a complete meal if you use the three quart. You can put a meatloaf in here. Then you use the one and a half quart. Put some small potatoes in here. Then you could put some frozen corn in the top, lay a paper plate on there. You have a three quarts meal finished in 15 to 20 minutes. Sometimes you do have to experiment it with it for a little while. Always go on the shorter end because if you cook it too, too much, it won't be good. But if you cook it too little, you can always add more time. Anyone that orders the stack cooker from me, I will send you a free stack cookbook. I have about three or four left. This is a great, great tool for the stack cooker. As you can go through the pages and it tells you what would be good in the top layer and what would be good in the middle layer and the bottom layer just as well. So you can pick match and um, mix and match and make your favorite dinners. And it is a great tool and then it gives you a lot of instruction on here. The other thing you can do with the stack cooker is use it one at a time. I This is always being used almost every day in my house. For a full family sized meal to heat up from the freezer or from uh, one of those that you pre-package frozen dinner and they say put in the microwave, this is a great, great size to do that in. You can use that separately. You can use the one and a half quart separately. And you can use the cover also separately. And you can make a bunt cake in here. And uh, you just take a cake mix and a bottle of a can of soda, mix it together, and you have a fabulous bunt cake that is ready in eight minutes. Try it. Chocolate cake and a can of Coke. And then uh, to um, brown hamburger meat, take the um, strainer, put it in three quart, put a pound of ground beef, cover it up, put it in for three minutes, stir it up, three more minutes, and your beef is all browned and you don't have to stand over the stove um, stirring it. And the last item I just wanna point out are measuring cups and spoons. Each is a six piece set. The nice thing about these is they're so sturdy so you can get your ingredients ready as you're ready to bake. Go ahead and put your flour, your sugar, and just set it aside. Same thing with the spoons. They snap together and they are very sturdy. You can just put them right on the table and they will stand there, unless you've dumped it upside down like that, so don't do that. And, um, but you can go ahead and get your ingredients ready in these spoons as well. And that way, once you start mixing, just take your spoon, dump it in, take your mix, whatever, dump it in, put it in your chopper, put it in your big bowl, stir it with your spatula, and you are good to go. So if you have any questions, just put them on my site, or you can call me, you can text me. Have a great day.